Yeah. No. Hey going guys, Steve here from Australian 4x4 Adventures. Another review video. So this time I'm going to be doing one between the Travel Buddy 12 volt oven and one that the wife got me off eBay for like 50 bucks. So 260 bucks versus 150 bucks. Is there really $200 difference between them? Let's have a look. So let's have a quick look at each oven first. So we'll do the cheap one first. So this one is just the cheap $50 one off eBay that the wife bought me a couple years ago. Never actually used it, so I've got no idea what it's like. So I figured I've got the Travel Buddy, which I always kind of wanted, but then I got me thinking, is the Travel Buddy really worth the extra money you spend on it? So a couple of stats on this one are, apparently it holds 2.8 liters, or well, according to the information, approximately 2.8 liters in the one dish there. There's only the one heating element on the bottom, so all the heat comes up and there's an aluminium construction on the inside for easy cleaning, apparently. Um, ABS plastic on the outside, fairly rugged looking looking lap there, that's pretty strong by the seems of it, but who knows over time. Um, little plastic handle to carry it all around. Uh, it's a 1.9 meter lead on the end of it there, with a 15 amp fuse. Couldn't actually find anywhere where it states, either online or on the box itself, or even in the instructions, how much power it draws. But it's got a 15 amp fuse, so I'm going to presume it's 10 to 15 amps for current draw. There's no on off switch for this. As soon as you plug it in, it turns on. Fairly simple, not a lot to go wrong with, I guess. Heats up to 149 degrees centigrade. Yeah, centigrade. Um, it's got a little rubber seal sort of goes around the inside there, so I'm guessing if you've got liquid and stuff in there, seals it all in, that's a theory anyway, so hopefully it wouldn't tip over, but test that soon, see what happens if I put water in there, see what happens, I don't know how much, just this much I guess, 600ml, No, it is not 100% watertight. No, I'll answer that question. It says you can cook anything, it says it cooks food in, in three minutes flat. So, I don't know. The other one is the Travel Buddy. I've only got the small one because I didn't feel a need to get the big one. So the main differences between the big and the small is the small only has an on and an off. So it's got a two hour timer. So if you're not in the car or whatever, say you're not running the car, it's got a two hour timer so it can turn itself off, doesn't drain the battery that bad. Or it does have an infinity so it just stays on the entire time. Say you're running the car, you're doing a 10 hour trip, you want to do a race inside it, it can stay on the whole time, you don't have to get out every two hours and, oh, I've got to turn the oven back on, uh, all that sort of stuff. So, turn that off. Um, power draw on these is 10 amps. It does have the on-off, so you can turn it on and off separately as well. The 10 amps is still a fair whack, though. Um, it does only come with a cigarette lighter adapter. It does say in the instructions that they prefer you to sort of cut that off and hardwire it, with either through Anderson or direct wired. I'm guessing you still need to put an inline fuse in there somewhere. So probably should state that. Um, same thing, 1.9 amp lead. Inside, you get little trays. So these little trays are kind of cool, so that way you get ventilation for your food, for your food, for your food. There you go. Um, so you can have multitudes of different types of food on there. Couple, two trays, so you can get two different heights. Plenty of different things to put in there. Solid little door. I have seen a couple of people where these doors can get a little bit not so worky and they pop open. It's just a little bent over bracket here so you can essentially just bend that across a bit more and it'll grab a bit harder. Not a hard fix really. Um, fairly 
similar in size. Kind of, not really. This is the small one. So height wise, almost identical for height. That's pretty cool. Width wise, Travel Buddy is probably a good 100 mil wider overall. So these are gonna take up more room. Same for the depth, it's about the same depth overall. But in the same note, that gives you more capacity to put stuff inside. There's not, they're not super thick sidewalls in them. You're losing about 20 mil either side. Same for the for the top and about 50 mil for the bottom there. So internal me measurements are gonna be around about 200 mil wide, 100 mil tall. It's pretty cool for overall. I've, you can get a fair bit of stuff in there. Aftermarket accessories for the travel buddy as well. So, there's a place called Somerville Metalworks that make these little stainless steel trays. What it, that is, rather than having all your crumbs and stuff fall onto onto the base of the oven and you're gonna have to try and clean it out. Take these stuff out. They act as like a giant little tray inside, which is freaking awesome. Absolutely love that. So Somerville Metalworks, if you're keen on getting some, hit them up on Instagram. They'll send them out. I think they're about 30 bucks each. 25, 30 bucks. I forget, it's a while ago now. Um, we are talking about doing a new one where it's essentially just one deep one to take up the entire height, just to try and make it a bit easier to do um, roast and stuff without stuff spilling out the side. So as soon as I get that one, I'll let you know how it goes. Right here, so I'm gonna put in chicken strips. They are frozen, just see me get them out of the freezer. Uh, both ovens are off and cold, so that way it's a fresh start for both of them. I'm just going to see how long it takes to, to cook them and see how they come out. So I think time isn't necessarily the only factor that it should be worried about. I think the quality of how it actually cooks your food is a big one as well. So, see how we go. Who doesn't carry a knife with them, seriously? Turn that one. Uh, what I have done as well is I've plugged the car into the charger to try and keep maximum voltage in the car because if I'm drawing 10 amps here and 10 amps here, 25 amps is going to kill my batteries pretty damn quick. I don't have the car parked outside for the solar and that's only going to put in 15 amp, 20 amps at the most anyway. So I plugged it into the, to the charger which is a 25 amp charger. Should keep it all going. So the batteries are currently, we're both running fresh, 12.5 volts. So it's, it's up there, kind of. See how it goes? It's gonna kill, kill my battery on my charger. Alright, so put this one in. Great. There we go. Alright, so I'm just gonna put them straight onto the tray there. Um, I'm not gonna use these for this experiment because I'm just trying to see how they go from factory settings, so to say. So rather than an aftermarket accessory, may, may or may not affect the way it cooks or doesn't. Now, it's advisable that you wrap your food in foil, apparently. So, I don't know about you guys, but I keep foil on the back of my car for some reason. So, just doing what it says to be advisable. Chuck it in. Done, kind of. I guess, maybe. See what happens. All right, so it's been half an hour now. Probably gonna be nowhere near enough because they were frozen and I don't think it'd take half an hour in the oven inside, actually. But, I'm gonna check it. So, travel buddy. Ooh, ooh, it's definitely unfrozen itself. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna turn them over. Of course, Leanne has to walk in right now. Hi. And the other one. Uh, hey. And it's just unfrozen as well. Yeah. A bit thuggy. This. Do. Yeah. Right, so I'll put these back in. Might open my hoodie. Done. Another half an hour. All right, so it's been an hour now, and I'm gonna check the travel buddy and the portable 12 bolt stove. 
So, I don't even know what it's called. It's not even a brand name, really, so who knows? But, it's cheap. Um, before I check them, though, I just want to go through temperatures and stuff on the outside. So, with the travel buddy, um, it's obviously been running for an hour now. I can touch all that. It's warm. It's, it's nice on a cold day. It warms your hands up nicely. The door does say hot, but I can still pretty much hold my hand there. It's getting pretty hot now. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's warm. It's definitely hot. So you probably wouldn't want stuff up against the, uh, the front of the travel body there, but I generally stack stuff all on top and around the side, stop it from sliding around. Never had a drama with anything getting too hot with it, so I reckon that's awesome there. This one here, as I've never really used, but the lids, yeah, about the same. The base, well, it's a little bit hot on the back edge there, but nothing. Nothing you'd really worry about. Like it's just, just normal, something warm, really. All right, so an hour. See how this goes. So I've actually cooked tons of stuff in the travel buddy. So I might quickly to show you some of the other stuff I've cooked in the travel buddy just now. Sweet and smoky hickory glazed lamb riblets. Apparently, so we're going to try and do them in the travel buddy. See how it goes. Should be pretty cool. So I've just lined the uh, trays with some baking paper just to save on cleanup for later. Open up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And tonight's gonna be around about six, so we're probably gonna leave them in the oven for about five hours, just warm them right the way through. And then probably when we get to camp, just to crisp them up a bit, get the barbecue out and just quickly fry them up with the barbecue, and they should get nice and crispy. That is the plan. So chuck them back in there. Turn him on. Might just leave it on infinity, so it just stays on the whole time. Hopefully we get some delicious freaking ribs for dinner. So it's been about five hours since the uh, the ribs went in. So doing some wedges and barbecue. They've been in Jeremy's oven, so we've cooked some wedges there. Just crisping, crisping them up a little bit on the on the barbecue, just to make sure they're nice and crispy. All right, so the oven, this is my one. The, uh... oh, oh my God. All right, I'm gonna try one, just to, uh... See how it goes, so you can see it. Mmm. That tender age. Alright, so obviously we'll send some ribs there. Just cook so much stuff in there. Donut. Seriously, if you buy a donut from the bakery and you don't eat it straight away, I don't know why you wouldn't eat it straight away, but for some reason you forgot about it, whatever. Um, you can chuck it in the travel buddy for 20 minutes. It goes nice and soft and, and oh, 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 oh. This is why I'm fat. <laughs> There's a whole Instagram page, uh, Baked in My Car. Awesome guy, go give him a follow on Instagram. He just does a whole bunch of stuff on what, what he bakes in his car. He does like scones and pizzas and everything. You name it, he, he can cook it in this little sucker here. Um, so definitely, definitely worth a follow on that one. <laughs> All right, we'll do this one first. Ooh, look at the steam come out of that sucker. All right, so, yeah, this looks. Yeah. yeah, they're um, yeah, they're soggy. They're cooked. They're definitely cooked, but they're soggy. Very very soggy. I think. Yeah. I'll, let's shut that for a second. The old travel buddy. Pull the sucker out. Okay, this one. Oh, that's much better. Look at that. <clears throat> So that's actually, you can see there, started to crisp up. A little bit of char on it. Beautiful. All right, taste test. Mmm. A bit of crisp as well. Put that back in there. So they're good to eat now. So it's been an hour, hour on the dot pretty much from frozen as well. So they're pretty good. Technically they're cooked, like cooked all the way through. But because it's a concealed unit, keeps all the moisture in, and it's almost steaming them. Right, so I don't think you could ever get anything crispy in that. So I think for use of purpose, this is going to be great for maybe if you've got a stew or something that you don't care if it's soggy, that it, that it has to warm up. So uh, hot dogs, five minutes. I'm guessing that means once it's already hot. Uh, rice in 30 minutes, so you cook rice in there. Grilled cheese sandwich in seven to 10 minutes on each side. That's, that's like, that's 20 minutes to do a grilled, grilled cheese sandwich. That's, that's a while. 
uh, left up, leftovers in oven bag or foil, various foods and types. Canned soup and food, 20 minutes plus with good surface contact. So I'm guessing that means, would it be in the can you reckon? Or even in the can, just chuck it in there and it heats up? We'll take it out and spread it out. Mm. Baby food, I thought that was interesting. Fill the stove with one inch of water and set the jar slash bottle uh, in the water for three to five minutes. Leave lid open to, to allow steam to escape. So there you go, if you're new parents and you want to warm up a baby bottle while you're away and don't have a microwave or whatever, something like that would work. Can't do that in a travel buddy. That's one of the advantages to it. So I think both units have their advantages and disadvantages overall. This thing's capable of doing a couple of things that this isn't, and this thing's capable of doing a couple of things that this isn't. This would be a whole lot better for anything bakery-wise. I've done the ribs in there, in the tray you would have seen just a second ago. Cooked perfectly, it does hold a bit of moisture as well, so it, it, they came out so good, so good. Um, I think it's a fairly fair comparison overall. Um, obviously it's not the, the stats of, of the ins and outs on how they're built and all the rest of, the, all the rest of that stuff. There's a plenty of videos out there for that. This is just a, something a bit different between your cheapy $50 one and your well, $180 for the small one and $250 for the big one. So there's a big price difference between the two. Seriously, you need to experience what your car smells like as a bakery inside full driving. You've never felt hunger like that until your car smells like a bakery. Oh my god. <laughs> Pick of the litter for me will still be the Travel Buddy. Love this thing. Getting a custom cargo barrier made up at the moment through, through a mate. So I'm going to mount the Travel Buddy up above the fridge facing forward there so I can access the Travel Buddy all the time and sort of stop all the stuff from falling onto the fridge. So when that, that one comes out I'll, I'll put a bit of a video up on, the, on that as well and how I've done that. I'm sticking with the Travel Buddy. Might actually give this a go for a couple trips though. See how we go. I don't know, it's not, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think it's going to be specific items that I might put in there. Nothing pastry, because it's just going to soggy. Other than that, that's pretty freaking cool. Alright, drop a comment down below what you guys think is going to be the better, better oven. If you've got both and you prefer one over the other, um, obviously this is the small travel buddy, there's the bigger one as well, which has got the thermostat on it so you can control the temperature. Um, yeah, give us a like, subscribe, comment below. Do all that stuff that YouTube has always asked you to do. Other than that, see you guys in the next one.